It's a campus that divided at O Miss following the controversial selection of its new chancellor. Good evening and thanks for joining me. I'm Katina Rank and my co-anchor Richard is off. Angry protesters shut down a news conference last week introducing Glenn Boyce. Tonight, demonstrators silently marched on campus while a Senate faculty meeting was going on. Liquid 24 News reporter Rebecca Butcher, she attended that meeting and she joins us live from Oxford tonight. Rebecca. Well, good evening there, Katina. Well, silent protesters marched from the Grove here on campus to the building you see right behind me. It was that silence was in stark contrast to the chaos which erupted last Friday here on campus. Now, inside the meeting, the Senate faculty requested that the board which appointed Dr. Boyce, they wanted to give an account and also a timeline from that board, and they wanted it in about a week's time. On Tuesday, faculty and students silently marched in protests of the newly appointed chancellor, with signs saying Glenn Boyce is, quote, corrupt and calling for the Institute of Higher Learning to be abolished. The IHL board selected Dr. Boyce for the position, despite his role as a hired consultant for the search. There should have been a much more critically thought out process about why we were still proceeding with the appointment after such large dissent. Cam Collish is the woman seen here being carried out in last week's protest during the press conference. She tells me she asked security to open up the room to others outside. It was very unnecessary, an unnecessary use of force. Um, and it was it was clear that they were not trying to focus on protecting the students, but were protecting the IHL board. Today's protesters marched into a Senate faculty meeting. Members questioned when Boyce ceased to become a hiring consultant and if the board's swift appointment was legal procedure. After a two-hour deliberation, the Senate faculty passed a resolution calling for the IHL board to give a complete timeline of the chancellor search. Three. Yeah, and also uh, the board, they want that, or rather the Senate faculty, they want that timeline from the IHL board by Sunday, October 15th, around 5 o'clock. We did request to speak to Dr. Glenn Boyce himself, but uh, they said he was unavailable for comment today. Reporting live in Oxford, Mississippi, I'm Rebecca Butcher, Local 24 News. Rebecca, thank you. And we first broke this story on the local Memphis app. You too can receive all breaking news updates. Just download our app from the Apple Store or Google Play.